What time is it? It's budget time. What time is it? It's budget time. Y'all, it's Char, and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm doing a flip through of the Happy Planner Budget Planner. I finally got my hands on it, so I want you guys to see my reaction to me actually flipping through this budget goodness. So if you guys want to see this budget planner and see how I feel about it, then go ahead and stick around. Okay, guys, so let's just get into it. Let's not waste any time. Let's just give a moment of silence for this rainbow hollow foil. Do you see this? That is gorgeous. Living for it, living for it. First off, I have to say... Um, that I'm not probably going to leave these plastic silver discs on there. I might do plastic discs though because I have a set of rainbows that might go with this or I might not. I have a whole like washi, um, no, I said washi y'all. I'm thinking about washi. A whole disc drawer. I do have these discs that I picked up from Michael's. And I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think of that? Should I do that or should I do get into some metals? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. The jury is out. When I'm actually setting it up, um, I will ask you guys again. But if you are thinking like these now, let me know. Say a comment in the comments below. And then when I come back and do my setup, let me know what you guys think. But we're not setting up now. We're checking her out. We're trying to see how we feel about her. So let's go ahead and take this off here. Look at that. I just I just got to do it again, y'all. Woo! So pretty. Okay, so let's open it up. Ha ha ha. Steph and the fam. We have to take our Sorry, I'm bumping the thing, guys. Let's get our plastic off of here. Let's get our plastic on. And this tight on here, too. Whew. All right. Let's get that out there. All right, so let's start out right here. We have our uh, months and stickers. And I have, I'm going to do another video. I bought the... Recollections, I think it's date sticker book to do this because this is an undated planner and I am going to locate it and I'm going to do a flip through of that for you guys also and I will use that when I'm doing my budget setup. So because I'm behind y'all, today is the 18th and I've been trying to get my hands on this planner and that companion pack and I'm behind on my budgeting. I had planned on trying to do a no spend but then when I didn't have this planner, that just went out the window. I just was looking for an excuse to spend. <laughs> so, this hopefully is going to get me on track. Um, better to start now than later. I was thinking maybe February 1st, but I probably need to get into it as soon as I can get into it. But, um, let me see. I'm going to try to make sure I'm getting all the light on this so you guys can see. All right, so these are the mouse here. This is the first thing here. It says, hello, this happy budget this Happy Planner Budget Edition belongs to me, Char. Um, I think I'm going to use, I'm going to look through my letters though, but I think I'm going to use some rainbow letters that I've seen in, it might have even been the Christmas Joy sticker book, surprisingly enough. I think that's the book it was in. So I'm going to put my name in there when I set it up. That is the first page. Living, living, living for the colorfulness of it. 
So I'm just going to go um, and do the dashboards and then like do one month in a dashboards because I don't want to, you know, bore you guys with repetition and I want you guys to enjoy the video. So this is um, the first page here. It says financial goals in this box here. Budget for the month of because again, this is undated. Don't forget. And then on the side, it says keep track of events and unexpected expenses that pop up during the month which I love that because we all know things come up that we're not anticipating. I am I'm trying to do sinking funds, so things are not a surprise to me. Um, I never was a person that um, planned for emergencies. I just kind of dealt with them as they came. So I am just excited about getting, um, what is it, the cart before the horse, getting ahead of the game and not getting frustrated when something happens. And this says unexpected spends. And this is nice because you can keep track of stuff that happened. The date, the item and the description and the amount. So we kind of know why we spent what we spent. The first dashboard says the grass is green where you water it. Got to water that budget, y'all. This is here, like I said, so, so nice. Um, undated and I like that it's colorful but it still kind of gives you a blank canvas like you have color here but it's still not overwhelming like you still feel like you can decorate it and make it your own I like that um, and I love these little monthly challenges I am definitely going to um, try to do this this one says try only to spend on necessities for at least one week during this month Okay, and since I'm already on the 18, y'all, I don't know if I should just start this in February, but I kind of don't want to do that. I want to, oh, I got to see how I'm going to do this since I got this a little later than I anticipated. If you guys have any thoughts or ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so that is that there. This has month of your income, your total for your income, your expenses, and remaining, the date, bill description, category, and the amount paid. And then this is a savings tracker, which I like, that you can do multiple accounts um, if you wanted to. So you put the date, the account, the activity, and the balance. Um, and then this says accounts and debts. And this is nice if you're doing like the snowball method or you're trying to pay off some debt. So I love that. And then this page here, is your weekly expenses um, like groceries eating out things like that i probably will wipe this out and then just kind of add what i want to to it um this is nice where do i deserve a gold star you want to get yourself a pat give yourself a pat on the back when you're doing well and is there anything i can do better next week i like that too because it's giving you room to grow in this planner so this is um, the same thing and they give you enough for so there's one to wait maybe i should come front back now one two three four and five so i guess that's like a five day week but i have the extension pack so that may not bother me um and then we have this um grid paper here and then it starts all over again so i'm just going to do the dashboard and then the challenge for each month this says, think positively. It's about expecting the best to happen every time, but accepting that whatever happens is the best thing for that moment. Love it. Guys, things will happen. It won't work perfectly how you expect it, but the point is, is to grow and get better. I love that. All right, so let's go to this month's challenge. Did I pass it? I think I may have. Yes. Th this challenge is $100 challenge. Instead of an impromptu shopping trip, try saving $25 each week this month and you'll have yourself an extra $100 tucked away. That's doable. And if it's not, you, you can determine your own um, challenge. Maybe you could do a $50 challenge, a $25 challenge. This should be tailored to what you're able to do. All right, this dashboard here says, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Nice, because you're not losing if you don't win. You're learning from that experience. Like that. Let's see what the challenge is. No cards. Try not to use any of your credit cards for at least two weeks during the month. Um, that can be doable. Um, I usually do like... 
a debit for gas, but I don't have to. It could just be credit cards, like maybe regular credit cards, not debit cards, maybe. I have to see how I can tie that in, but I'm definitely going to try to do these challenges. All right, this month here says, I trust in that chapter because I know the author. And of course, I am the author, but God is the author too. <laughs> Because he leads my way and is hopefully going to make this budget successful. And then let's um, see what the challenge is. Coffee at home. Skip the wait at the coffee shop and brew coffee at home. Throw it in a super cute tumbler and hit the road. No, I'm not a big, big, big coffee drinker. I will get Starbucks every um, once in a while every once in a while and then sometimes i'll do like a couple shots of espresso and then add like a premier excuse me protein in it but so this um i might have to maybe do something other than coffee maybe eat out or some other kind of drink i don't know guys look at this Woo! this hollow and i'm I like i'm not an over-the-top foil person i like mattes better but this hollow Rainbow is so stinking pretty to me. It's so pretty. And I think I have some hollow tabs from Happy Planner that I bought way, way back that I might be able to incorporate in this. So I really, really like that. No saying, but I love the prettiness of it. And then this challenge is no online shop shopping. Challenge yourself to nix the online shopping during the month. Your wallet will thank you later. And I can try that too. Um, I do do a lot of online shopping because I get a lot of emails and like a lot of deals and coupons. So I can um, try to work on that. This one says it costs zero dollars to be grateful for what you already have. And that's so funny because I was just thinking there's really nothing that I actually need. There are things that I want. Um, so that's true, but I'm not going to, you know, deprive myself. I'm not going to, you know, you only live once. I'm, I'm just going to try to um, spend more mindfully and really get things that I am going to use. And this must challenge is bring your lunch. B-Y-O-L equals bring your own lunch. Meal prep and get these lunches ready to grab and go. You'll save a average of $25 to $50 per week. Wow. That's a pretty big savings. But I usually do pack my lunch, honestly. I really don't go out a lot. A lot of my coworkers, um, well, not a lot. I have a couple coworkers. They um, go out pretty religiously. But I don't have a problem packing my lunch. I'm a big um, pack leftover person. So this, this wouldn't be an issue for me at all. At all. All right. This says, start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. <sighs> Guys, I just love that these quotes are encouraging and not judgy like it's like do what you can just start all right let's see what this challenge is five dollar deposits deposit every five dollar bill that comes your way into your savings account this month now guys i have been thinking about doing this before and i really do think i want to do that to see um how much i can save in a five dollar challenge i'm already doing uh, the penny challenge um and another savings challenge, but I think I am going to try to tackle that. And then if I do good in this month, I may just carry it over. I'll have to see. And then this pretty like purpley tag, tag, tab here. Life is tough, but so are you. Yes, yes, yes. That's pretty the rainbow. And then let's see what the challenge is. Put it back. When you are out shopping, pause, reconsider your haul and put one item back. That is a good one also. I actually kind of already do that now. I'll get like a bunch of stuff put in my buggy. And then I'll sit there and look like, am I really going to use this? Do I need this? Do I want this? So I kind of already do that now. But this will make me more conscious of doing it. This here is so cute. It's just like a conversation. It says, bestie, girls night. Let's do girls night in. Yes. See you soon. So you're saving because you're not going out and getting popcorn and spending all your coins. So I like that. All right, let's see what the monthly challenge is. Family activity. For a fun family weekend, search your city's website for local spots to visit or activities that are free or low in cost. Now that, guys, I already do. <clears throat> uh, me and my daughter love to go to the library. And I really got that from my mom. My mom was big on looking in the paper 
in the local section and seeing what they had going on and getting the free stuff. So that that's already in my blood, y'all. That that's definitely a do there. And then this one here says, it's okay to make mistakes, to have a bad day, do what's best for you. Yes, self-explanatory. And then this month's challenge is made the cut. Re-evaluate re your monthly subscriptions to any services or magazines and cut those that are unnecessary. Okay. So currently the only subscription I have is to Simply Gilded and I actually had considered canceling it this month, but I seen the sugar box and I loved it. And plus I said, I'm going to at least, at least wait until February because that's probably going to be a gorgeous box and then reevaluate then. I'm not a person that got five, six, seven subscription boxes. So I just have one so I may evaluate that one or I may keep it. We'll see. But I am already um, doing that now. And then the last one is another beautiful hollow page that says, learn how to see the possibility, not the problem. Has the hollow there. That's right. See what can be done. Don't just consider the problem. Work it out. Fix it. We got this, y'all. Okay. And then let's see what this monthly challenge is here. Cash only. For two weeks this month, use only cash for any purchases other than your online bills. It will help you see how much money is actually being spent. And I kind of already do this, guys, because I already do cash envelopes. So, uh, look, I'm halfway there, y'all. A lot of this stuff I'm already doing, so this is just going to help me exceed my goals this time. So, that is it, guys. This is the back cover here, like just kind of these dot sparkles. It says, Live Creatively. This is like another, um, uh, not dot grid, grid, chart grid, grid paper here. And then this is the back. I can get the goop and it's just the rainbow stripe. So this is the back. And then this is the gorgeous hollow front okay guys so that is it that is my flip through of the happy planner budget planner i love it it was stressful getting it but i think it was worth the wait i think it is going to help me let me know what you guys feel about this happy planner budget planner i personally think they hit the nail on the head i'm excited to use it um and I'm just excited, guys. Let's get it. 2020, let's get our budgeted on. Thank you so, so very much for sitting through this video with me. If you are a newbie and you like the content in, the, in this video, excuse me, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel so you can become a member of the Goody Squad. And as always, my oldies but goodies, thank you guys so, so very much for stopping back by. I appreciate you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.